Welcome to the Funeral Funds Life Insurance Podcast. I'm your host, Randy Vandervate from Funeral Funds of America, and you can find us at funeralfunds.com. That's funeral, F-U-N-D-S.com. Whether you're interested in term life, whole life, annuities, disability, business continuation, or final expense life insurance funding, we have you covered. Our team of experienced professionals will guide you through the complexities of insurance products to help you make an informed decision. In this podcast, I'm going to be discussing six reasons to work with an independent life insurance agent. Let's get started with number one. Most independent agents should have in-depth knowledge about the different policies out there. As long as they're a licensed agent, they should. I will tell you one thing though, man, there is so many insurance agents that are woefully inadequate here. And the, unfortunately, the insurance industry um, attracts a lot of people who aren't going to be in the industry very long. Unfortunately, it seems easy. It seems like the money should be pretty good, but uh, it's difficult. And the fail out rate is pretty darn high, like well above 90% of the agents are not going to be around in the next two to three years. So what a lot of um, uplines or managers will do is will we'll restrict their agents who are under them to only one or two or maybe maximum of three companies because uh, it's just difficult for them with their limited knowledge and skill set to understand kind of the the minutia and nuance of all the different insurance companies and in many cases even if you end up paying more money it's less of a headache on them because um, you, they're they're doing more business with you know, one company versus the other. And they may get bonused on that. You know, the managers may get bonused on it. And the agents may get bonused on that as well, too. But just understand that's not always in your best interest because you not only want the best insurance policy, you want the best insurance policy that has the lowest pricing. Because there's there's just no sense in overpaying. If you overpay uh, $20 a month, which is not uncommon with a lot of agents out there, $20 a month for one year times 12 months at $240. If you live an extra 10 years, you'll have overpaid right around $2,400. If you live an extra 20 years, $4,800. So the, the, the math really adds up and getting that first day coverage and lowest rates is really important. That's another thing. Some, some agents out there, they, um, they only will sell a two year waiting period policy which um, we don't recommend because why why would you ever choose a policy with the two-year waiting period when in most cases you can qualify for first day coverage? That kind of leads us to our, our number two topic, which is an independent life insurance agent can guide you in choosing the right policy in, in most cases. Now, again, if they don't work with a lot of different insurance companies, then um, your options are going to be restricted. Now at Funeral Funds of America, we we only help people with first day coverage or benefits. We don't help people with policies that have two year waiting period plans. We always just um, direct people to other companies to do that. It's just not in our best interest um, to really help people with that type of policy. And just, you know, in full transparencies, there's some other companies out there that if you're going to get a two-year waiting period plan, the the pricing of these other companies out there is so much better than any company that I can contract with. And I just, um, you know, I feel for our company that when people call us and ask us for help, sometimes that means saying no to us and helping them say yes to another policy that's actually going to be a lower price than actually I could provide. And first day coverage and stuff, I'm not worried about that to your waiting, waiting period plans. There's, there's a couple of companies out there. They're captive companies, captive agents, and they only sell their own product. But that one product for a two-year waiting period is uh, it's the best one out there. And I, I could explain that kind of off the podcast privately with you if you want. But yeah, um, but we don't recommend two-year waiting period plans as a, as a whole because that you're going to have to wait two years before it, it pays out if you die of any health or medical reason. 
And um, there's just no sense. Right now, 90 to 95% of the people we help uh, qualify for first day coverage or benefits. The um, third area today is an, an independent life insurance agent can help you understand the fine print. And this is, this is really important uh, as long as they're knowledgeable, right? And you, you might want to ask your agent how long they've been in the business because uh, if they've only been in the business a year or so, they are a greenhorn. And uh, it's not to say that you, you know, won't get uh, a decent insurance plan. It's just that could have you done better or maybe you could have gotten a policy that has additional riders or flexibility or payment options or something like that. But, you know, life insurance policies, they're, they're not always complex, but if you're not used to reading them and understanding them uh, and, and not, you don't understand the fine print, then that can be a problem. You know, I have people call up once in a while, they'll see their policy and they'll read one thing and uh, they're just kind of, they just have questions about it. And once I go through it, it's, they'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. But it, you know, the insurance industry does have some technical jargon, some, some legal jargon, you know, just some insurance specific jargon. And, you know, it's, it's definitely enough to confuse somebody who's not, um, you know, who may only buy one or two policies in their life. So we can certainly help you understand the fine print, but you know, it's really important to understand the fine print on policies that have waiting periods or have modified coverage or something like that. And then I, I will also say, you know, it's not just the fine print, but actually the actual questions that are listed on the request for coverage, the application, those are really important too, because just because you get denied by one insurance company doesn't mean you will get denied by another insurance company. Um, let, let's kind of jump into number four, because we kind of talk about that. Number four is an independent agent can help you get the best value for your money. So when you're, when you, you have specific health issues, some companies are not going to like all specific health issues. And, and chances are there's going, going to be another insurance company out there that will accept that. So he, what you really want to do is have an experienced agent help you get it right the first time. Because if you get denied the first time, there's insurance companies out there that that's one of their health questions. Have you been denied for coverage by another insurance company in the past? And that can uh, carry some weight on as to whether you'll get approved or not. So how we do it, and, and our approval rate is 100% as long as we know everything. So what we do is when somebody calls up, we'll just get some basic information. We'll ask them basic questions about their health prescriptions and stuff like that. And then we'll give a, a preliminary number based off that on what we think somebody can get approved for. And then one thing we do before actually calling the insurance company is we actually require that everybody go through the actual application form, the request for coverage. We just read the questions to them just to make sure we didn't miss anything, just to make sure they didn't miss anything, the applicant. And by doing so, once we get on the phone with the insurance company, we never, we never fail to get an approval. The only reason we, we wouldn't is if the person who we're submitting for flat out forgot about a medication in the past and they didn't tell us and they just didn't even remember. But that would have to be a really significant medication, you know, something for dementia or, you know, congestive heart failure, you know, cancer, kind of things like that. But by the same token, most people should remember those medications. So the uh, fifth topic today is an independent life insurance agent can save you time and money. And I just kind of went through our process just to help you kind of see how we can actually save you time and money because you know the, the the best way to save time is get it right the first time and a lot of insurance agents don't do that we 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 just talk with so many people and they seek us out after they've been um, declined by another insurance company they were told that they didn't qualify and i tell you what 
I mean, that should never happen. If you get declined by an insurance company, if you go to all that effort to actually get on the phone with your agent and 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 um, get get a policy, try to get a policy approved, and you did, did got declined, the insurance agent did something wrong. As long as you told them everything, but it you know it does happen. It does happen. There's some agents out there that will just apply and just even though they know it's on the edge or it would be a decline. They're just hoping that the insurance company may miss something and actually give them an approval. But the thing is, uh, you, we, we just want to uh, answer the questions on the request for coverage form accurately and honestly. They're going to be yes, no questions. There's no gray area. There is no gray area at all. And they're going to say, has things happened within the last six months, 12 months, 24 months, whatever it is, 18 months. And uh, everything's black and white. It's yes and no. So don't ever let an agent kind of um, maybe steer you wrong, I guess might be a, a right way to say it. But um, honesty is the best policy. I, I always tell our people, just answer, answer everything honestly. There's nothing to hide because we've got you with an insurance company that's going to accept everything that, that you um, have currently going on medically or that has happened in the past. And the sixth reason to work with an independent life insurance agent is they can maximize your insurance benefits. So we just want to make sure that you get the most out of your policy. There's some companies out there that have riders that um, they're, they're, they're free to add onto the policy, but you've got to check a box. You've actually got to confirm that you want that. One is like an accelerated death benefit rider. And what that means is if you had a $20,000 policy, and you were diagnosed with a terminal illness, which means you were going to die within the next 12 months, you could get that in, depending on the insurance company, the ones that we work with and recommend with, uh, you could actually get the entire $20,000 of your policy out 12 months before you passed away. And you might be thinking, well, why on earth would I want to pull all that money out early when um, I'm going to need that money for my burial, right? Well, here's the deal. Most of us, if we received a terminal illness diagnosis, we'd be devastated and rightly so. But I would say probably within a month or two, most of us would come to terms with it. And then most of the people we talk with would say, you know what, if I'm going to die anyway, I want to take care as much as possible so that I'm not a burden to my family. So they're not scrambling to take care of this in the days and weeks after I pass away. So you might think this is kind of morbid, but this is a wonderful gift and a wonderful legacy to leave behind for your family is you could pull all that money out and go down to the funeral home and say, hey, I want to get everything paid for in advance. The only thing I want my family to have to do is just show up and attend the service and not worry about anything else. And they can help you take care of that. And you can prepay that plan with the insurance money. And that way, nobody's going to have to worry about anything. And you can have that peace of mind knowing that, you know, this is taking care of your family and your family can have that peace of mind knowing that there's nothing left for them to do except just kind of mourn your loss and celebrate your life the way, the, the way your life should be celebrated. The other thing too is you know, it's an accelerated death benefit. In this example, you get $20,000 and you can accelerate all of it. Well, say that the burial is only 10,000. Now you've got $10,000 left. How cool would it be? Because there's no restriction on that money. You can do anything with it. How cool would it be if there was all, you know, there's that one last cool thing you wanted to do. Maybe it was a trip. Maybe it was a vacation that you never were able to achieve because money was just tight always, right? So you could actually take that extra 10000 and go on that vacation. Maybe take family members, your kids or something like that, and have that one last memory for you that would last your lifetime. But more importantly, have that one last memory for your children, for them to have for the rest of their life, because they're going to be around a lot longer, right? So it's very cool um, to be able to help people with that and just... You know, there's there's always bills that pop up too, so you know, you've got that ten thousand. Your your burial's taken care of. 
Now, if there's any other bills, you can just use the $10,000 to pay that off too. There's multiple ways of, of using that money, but it's really nice when you can sell, accelerate all of it. And all these insurance companies are different. Sometimes it's 100% time. Sometimes it's uh, 50%. And some companies it's included. And some companies you actually got to you gotta check a box and request it. But it's free. <laughs> you know, why wouldn't you do that? Why would you not have that option? But there's some inexperienced independent agents out there that that um, kind of miss out on that. I, I've got, that's kind of the six things that we wanted to talk about. I wanted to add a couple little plus topics in here too. When you have your policy, a couple important things, just make sure you pay your premiums on time because you've got a permanent policy with these policies. You've got a permanent whole life policy. Just make sure and pay them on time. What we always recommend is that people actually have that billing date co coincide with the date that their social security or disability checks drop into their account. And in most cases, that's going to be the first or the third of the month or the second Wednesday, third Wednesday, or fourth Wednesday of each month. And different insurance companies kind of handle it differently, but mo most of the insurance companies we work with can set it up to coincide with your actual social security billing date. Now, they don't pull that money out of your social security funds. Nobody can do that. That ha has to do with the federal government. They just drop that money into your account. And then we can have it draft on the same day. So like if you get paid the third Wednesday of each month, we could have it just coincide with that. And uh, it would uh, draft on the third Wednesday. Typically, we don't like to start people in the middle of the month. We would just recommend, hey, you know, if we get your policy approved today, let's just have it start on your next payday. And that way you don't have any money coming out in the middle of the month and you're, you're good to go forward. And then the, um, the second kind of plus topic is just review your policies periodically. Uh, if you buy a policy from us, uh, we're available anytime. Uh, mo in most cases, we're going to be reaching out to you after two, three years. Just make sure that everything's okay. Make sure that your beneficiary is okay. Make sure that there's been no address change, no billing change, no, um, you know, change of beneficiary and anything like that. So uh, just understand also that if you need to, after reviewing your policy, we can help you add more coverage. And whether it's a policy that we helped you with or another agent helped you with, and again, they're probably out of the business at this point, but um, yeah, we can help you with any policy out there. So there we go. Six reasons to work with an independent life insurance agent. My name is Randy Vanderbate, and I hope this podcast has been helpful to you. Funeral Funds of America can help you qualify for first aid coverage or benefits at funeralfunds.com. That's funeral, F U N D S.com. And our phone number is 888 862 9456. We will be blessed to help you with this in the future. Until that day comes, stay safe, take care, and have a nice day. Bye bye.